men that there. So, all right, let me go through. And let me just kind of create a new one right there. And let's do a class called vehicle right there. And we're going to declare in vehicle some variables right there. Right there. And we're going to declare int engine size right there. Int or and we're going to declare, well, we haven't declared that there. We're just going to say V type right there. String V type. Right there. We haven't declared that there. And we're going to declare uh, string or we'll just say, we'll just do those two for right now. So, right there. So we're going to, right here, we're going to say, we're going to declare a vehicle, right there, and we're going to call it my car, right there. And we're going to, at this point, particular point, we're going to go through and we're going to say, <coughs> here we're also going to say int t engine size, and a string B temp B type. And we could use the same right there. And we could say here at the, this particular case right here, we're going to do a C in, C out. What type of vehicle do you own right there right there and then we're going to do a CN right there and we're going to say my car dot V type right here right there and I'm going to put another I'm going to put a function in here and I'm going to call it void print info right there and why did it want to do that right there oh and uh, I'm, now I'm having all kinds of problems. Info, right there. Info, right there. And I'm going to here just simply say C out. Your engine size is and in this particular case I'm going to say engine size in line. Hopefully that's all we need to do right there. Right there. So write that vehicle to get there. And then we're going to do a my car dot info right there. Okay, let's see what happens when I try running this. Probably won't work. <laughs> right there. Well, let's just try this right here. Engine size, error. End was not declared in this type. Right there. Oh, in line. Right there. What type of that there? And your engine size is three. Well, I forgot to get the engine size right there. <laughs> so, again, what we need to do here is I didn't 
copy this right here. Copy. Right there. What is your engine size? Okay. Power run. Right there. Again, what you're seeing here is that I declared a type right here called vehicle. It's got an engine size and a vehicle type that right there. And I can have these functions right here right there and I can also do within here print info see out see out the type of vehicle is and again V type in line right there so again all I'm doing right here is Van 1500, and it just comes back, it just repeats the same information. But what I've shown here is how I can access this data within the class functions. There, notice that I don't have to put the class dot in there in front, right there. And here is how I can access the information within the main program. Up there, I can have another vehicle that I can up there, and I can just do this with right there. So I'm not going to go any further in this, but this kind of shows both how you, you, we can access functions and variables within a class right there. So it's it's kind of interesting. It's a pain in the neck to be honest with you. If you're not you you you're used to the, the old ways, I see someone shaking their head. No 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 that there. So I'm going to quit at this point and let you kind of think about the project that there. You know, the project, you don't have to use classes. That will make your life much easier if you do. It will, we'll, I'll be using classes from time to time, but I'm not used to classes. But because the slides refer to classes, I really needed to go back and cover it in more detail back there. So... So let me just kind of leave that go at this particular point, and we will come back and tackle this on Thursday then, right? And.